our final honorees this evening are four individuals, but it was their actions as a cohesive team that brings them here tonight. On October 29, 2009, the Coast Guard Command Center in Boston received a call for help from a vessel. The weather conditions were treacherous with rain, wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour, and invisibility lower than half mile. With only 90 minutes of daylight remaining, the helicopter began the first of several searches throughout the area. Once the sun set, the crew donned their night vision goggles, and although the poor visibility and strong winds continued, the crew pressed on for the three and a half hours. Despite worsening weather, the helicopter was diverted to Spring Hill Beach, where Sandwich police reported debris washing on shore. The astute crew quickly located two survivors in six to eight feet breaking seas. The crew quickly ascertained that two passengers would not survive a beach landing and that they would have to be hoisted to safety. With the co-pilot, Lieutenant Mike Snyder, flying on night fishing goggles, rescue swimmer Derek Ainsley was deployed just outside the surf zone. AST-2 Ainsley safely towed each survivor further offshore, clearing the dangerous breaking waves so a hoist could be performed. First mechanic Nick Davenport deployed the rescue basket. AST-2 Ansley helped the first survivor into the basket, but a wave struck, tumbling the survivor and Ansley back into the water. After recovering from the blow, Ansley once again secured the first survivor into the basket and initiated hoisting of the basket to the helicopter. The second basket hoist was completed in equally challenging conditions. Had the survivors not been pulled from the water where they were, they almost certainly would have been seriously injured or killed in the surf zone. The helicopter crew, aircraft commander Doug Atkins, co-pilot Mike Snyder, flight mechanic Nick Davenport, rescue swimmer Derek Ensley, demonstrated remarkable physical ability and skill, made critical decisions despite challenging and fatiguing conditions, and with all probability, saved two human lives during this five and one house hour search and rescue mission. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please give all these ladies and gentlemen a round of applause for helping protect our freedom and serving our country. Nice.